I am alive. Hope you guys didn't forget. Hope you guys didn't forget about me in the few minutes I was gone. Anyway, hello again. Hi. We just finished chapter 3-3, three, three, Protect and Serve. Now, what is this side quest we're going to? Okay, we got Heart of a Chief. Okay, is Walio also going to experience his... Is, is, is he gonna have another out-of-body experience? Oh, not quite. Okay. Uh, why do I keep doing this to myself? Another sleepless night, jazz cigarette in hand. Is this the only way I will ever feel relaxed? Michael? It's quite late. I'm surprised you're awake. Ch Chief! Well, it's just the nighttime is peaceful. I've always been something of a night owl. Being a musician and all, you get used to late nights. Hmm. Well, you should get some rest while you can. I don't think we'll be able to take another day here. Wait, what's that in your hand? It's a jazz cigarette. Are we still doing the jazz thing? Oh my god, okay. Jazz cigarette? Is this where your music comes from, Michael? Ah, you must be joking. I'm afraid I am not, Michael. I know you enjoy your Freyongi tobacco, but in Kuching, we don't have such customs. What is so special about the ja this jazz cigarette? He's gonna smoke the jazz cigarette and he's going to have another one of those out-of-body experiences. It helps me relax. It's a mix of tobacco and another plant. Maybe it's a bad habit, but it does feel nice. When I'm feeling stressed, it just clears my mind, Chief. Helps, like, wash away the worries from my day, all of my yesterdays, and even, well, the days I'll have down the road. So you're telling me that this guy- this- this guy who barely looks like he's old enough to smoke tobacco is somehow already addicted to it and it comes with another plant that isn't tobacco it's probably alluding to weed and I, I'm just gonna predict let's see my prediction here is that by the end of this conversation Walio smokes the tobacco has an out of body experience kind of like Titus did with Kitozawa and kind of like Storch did with his brother Hmm, I see. To wash away your worries. If only for a moment. Intriguing. I can roll you one, Chief. We've been through a lot lately, yeah? Maybe help you sleep a bit better. I mean, like, why are you up even? The rush of these battles. I am exhausted. I am weary. Perhaps this mask I wear to lead the people. While many see it as my true face, beneath this mask of mine lies the same fears of any mortal man, Michael. I constantly have doubts swirling in my mind. Fear that each day will be my last. Fear that my actions will only lead us to doom. The weight of the people who choose to remain loyal, it is a burden I bear as their chief. I'd never give this up, but I'd be lying if it... Lay it out for me, chief. Here, try this. Whew. Are these mint leaves you've rolled up? Why is it so tingly? Chief, chief, chief. You're funny, you know. I never saw myself as particularly humorous. Someone even called me stiff. A bore. Perhaps cutting loose would do me some good. That's the chief I know. The shoulders are always so dang tense. Ease up a bit. It's hard for all of us. You know, like you don't need to do this on your own. We're all here because we respect you, chief. We believe in you. Are your compliments truly genuine, or are those jazz cigarettes talking, Michael? It comes from the heart, chief. 30 minutes later. It was not until my 13th birthday when Chief Rohm gave me an axe to cut down some wood. I much preferred it to the blade and learned it for battle instead. I had heard stories of famous axe warriors and thought, can I, can I too be one of those axe brethren? So that's how it all started. Huh, wild. You talked a lot about Kuda, the Dark Stallion. I didn't know he was like your second father, Chief. Yes, he showed me to how to hunt as a youth. When my father passed, he guided me as a young chief. I am indebted to him to this day for his support. I specifically recall this one time... Six years ago. Chief, we're nearing the border now. And I can see a few stray gazelle up ahead. This may be our spot for the hunt. Those separated from the pack will be easy to pick up. Thank you, Hindrawan. Stocking up on meat and furs will do us good. Indeed. The herds of gazelle and buffalo will soon move south. Once they're out of their territory, we'll need to hold steady and work through our stores. Yes. After this hunt, I think we will have enough. We'll hunt smaller game through the winter. Chief. Buddha, are you well? We may have some issues. What sort of issues? Chief Yogya and his men are patrolling the area. It seems they've been trailing the same group of gazelle. Mm, we cannot afford a border dispute. 
Chief Rom worked out peace treaties, no? We are still in our own territory, Kuda. Yes, perhaps on paper. But when it comes to the hunt, especially in times like this leading into the winter ahead, there is no telling what another chief may do. Yes, it would be best not to engage Chief Yogya. The Kalijagas tribe history in our own is complex. I have no qualms with Chief Yogya and would not wish to fight him here if possible. Well, Chief, I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but there is another potential problem. These gazelle, they are juvenile, they are lost. Some are merely calves. Ill-suited for hunting and immoral for us to slay. They may start heading this way if the Kalijaga tribe gets to them first. This is, this is quite the conundrum then. Chief Yogya may charge our position in pursuit. These young gazelle, they are not the game we should be hunting. We need to help them escape. This does not bode well. Focus, Chief. This is no time for pity. We must act. Yes, you are in charge now. What shall we do? You're right. I cannot allow us to be paralyzed with indecision. We will help the young gazelles flee and ensure the Chief Yogya does not pierce our borders. Chief Yogya, we are enclosing around the stray gazelles. They are quite scrawny, likely juveniles. We pursue? While it brings me shame to hunt such small game, without them our stores for the winter ahead will be sparse. For the people of the Kalijaga, I will not relent. Hmm, very well, Chief. We are encroaching on Chief Walio's border. We must be quick if we don't want to cause disturbance. If it comes to blows, be prepared to engage. Chief Walio would fight us for hunting here? If he's anything like his father, he will defend him. Of this, I am certain. Ready the men. If he will not let us hunt, we will force him to back off. Understood? Aye, Chief. Wait, really? Wait, we actually have to- Oh my lord, wait, what? Wait, what are we supposed to do with the gazelle then? What? So this is basically just a flashback of what happened before, right? Hey, Hindrawan's alive again. Only for this particular chapter, though. Wait, really? So what am I supposed to do in this chapter? I mean, everybody's gonna be here, of course, but like, what am I supposed to do here? I am confused. Okay, I think we should be ready, but let's find- let's see. Hear me, Chief Yogya of the Kalijaga. You will not pursue these young gazelle into our territory. We do not wish to fight. We ask you to cease this. <laughs> well, hear me, Chief Waluyo. The affairs of my people are not your concerns. If we wish to hunt, we will hunt. I care not for the lands which the gazelle graze. If you do not back off, we will engage. Is he bad? His men are approaching with, it, with their bows drawn. We must reason with him. No, Chief. He does not intend to talk. He is showing us his facts. He is unafraid to strike. We must prepare to battle. We also must protect the gazelles so that they may continue to grow up and thrive. The population may be harmed if the youths are killed. Very well. Chief, your orders? If he refuses to talk, then we must meet him in kind. If we defeat him, perhaps he will flee. At the same time, we must try to protect the gazelles. While we may not be able to save them all, we must do what we can. We will protect whatever number we can. I am here with you, Chief. And I as well. Thank you, my friends. Let's go. The gazelles will attempt to flee it to the top left of the map. For each gazelle that escapes, you will receive 500 gold. You will suffer no penalty if Hindrawan, Kuda, or any of the gazelles are defeated in battle. The map will end with Chief Yoga is defeated. Oh, it's this music again. Okay.
Honestly, part of me wants to give the Kaya to Waluyo. Because I'm gonna I'm gonna try to see if I can use him until endgame. And I don't see anybody here in the party that, that could benefit from it. I mean Kerr, well, Larissa already exists, so that's there's that. Hmm. Bulan already has good enough growths, I think. If I were to use Kajon, I probably would have given I probably would have given him the Kaya, but nah, I'm not gonna use Kajon. Or maybe I could use it on uh, Kusuma. I could actually use it on Kusuma. So, because Kusuma is a, a unit I plan to use from uh, Endgame. Yeah, okay. So I'm uh, uh I'm 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 considering either Waluyo or Kusuma for this. I think I might give it to Kusuma instead. So we've got to try to get the gazelle. Wow, I actually like that they modeled the gazelle. But let's try to protect as many gazelle as we can and also uh, send the force up to fight Yogya. Okay, maybe I'll have Gajon and Stina do, the, do that. Do that. And also, I'll have Underdog take care of the villages. Okay, good job, Surya. I actually wonder where Hindrawan and uh, where Hindrawan and Kuda are going to go. Okay, her level up. Let's see what you got. HP, skill, and defense. Okay, I like that. I might actually promote him to a general. I think he could be very, very useful. I could actually promote her. Why not? If there is one thing I appreciate about, um, if there is one thing I appreciate about Vision Quest, it's that knights are very useful. Okay, magic and speed for Bulad. I like that. I like that too. So the the people I'm considering promoting here are um, Kusuma, Bulan, and Kerr. Surya will probably just barely not make it. Alright, Kajon. HP, strength, speed, and luck. Honestly, he's kind of in the same spot as Marlin, but I think Marlin is better. I 
I think in this case, I I I like Marlin a lot uh, better. Okay, shove one, just so we can cover more. We can cover as much ground as we can. I am surprised with how useful Surya is. As much as I like playable brigands, there just isn't enough and there just isn't enough enemy uh people in the army. Okay, right, let's see. Oh wow. Okay, those gazelles are shifty. And of course that happens. Anytime you get a 35% and it hits and it it, suck, it hurts. Okay, great. Awesome. No! I'm just hope. Well, whatever gazelle we can rescue is uh, compensation enough. Okay, good dodge. Still shouldn't have gotten hit, but good dodge either way. Ow. Stop hunting our gazelle. Please stop hunting our gazelle. Please stop hunting our gazelle. No, 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 no. Okay, good. We're gonna save that guy. Rather disappointed that they never used the Nomad or Nomad Trooper sprites. I think they were way better. I think the Nomad sprites are so much better. Okay, so it looks like we're gonna be able to rescue some of them. We're gonna be able to rescue a lot, which is great. Let's try it. Why not? <laughs> he, just, he just exploded. He just exploded. Oh my god, Kerr just exploded him. Holy shit, Kerr just exploded him. I like that. That was awesome. Okay, these four, these, the, I think these four will be fine here. The rest of us, uh, the rest of us are going down below. So basically, everybody who isn't, all of the Kuchingi guys go down, and then all of the non Kuchingi guys go up. That's the game plan. Like a bitch. I mean, it's probably worth trying, but we'll see what happens. Besides, I've got Waluyo. Okay, come on. Oh, nice. Okay, that was that was actually really risky, but it worked out. Like that was super risky. It, I, I can't believe it worked. I 
I wonder if I should build up the support between Waluyo and Kusuma since I'll be using both of them. I mean, yeah, we'll probably go with Kusuma and uh, Waluyo here. Why not? Chief! Yes, Kusuma? Are you well? As well as I can be, Chief. These are strange times. Indeed. All the more I'm glad to have your support. Tell me, Chief. How did our families come to forge this alliance? I understand my father and your father were friends, and that their fathers before them too had relations. My understanding is that your great-grandfather was a chief. He held a small territory to the west near the Mostin Orobro border. During a skirmish, my great-grandfather reinforced his army and they won. The two established a long-lasting peace and eventually ceded the lands. At least, that's what my father told me of it. Do you doubt Chief Rome? I do not doubt my father, Kusuma, but we both know he was a bit of a dramatic storyteller. This is true. Either way, I'm glad it all worked out, Chief. Me too. Let's go. Oopsie. I gotta go wait. Yeah, there we go. No! The gazelle! No, don't kill the poor gazelle! Oh, the gazelle... The gazelle will not allow themselves to be killed. The gazelle will not allow themselves to be killed. Oh no, they crit the gazelle. No! Well, that's only two gazelle down. Which honestly is much better than I was expecting. Okay, three gazelle. Or maybe not. Okay, maybe not three gazelle. Holy shit, the gazelle are actually escaping. Fighting over gazelles? Fools, they've left the towns unguarded. Not only is there food there, but also money. Wahaha, <laughs> I'll be rich. Well, that's not good. So they have to re okay, so I have to have someone but here in the next uh, in the next turn. Okay, so I'll have I'll need somebody here by the next turn. Actually, you know what? Underdog is the perfect guy for this. Yeah, Underdog is the perfect guy for this. Okay, the guy has a. Okay, that bro has a Sky Piercer. Nice. Okay, 
Okay, HP, speed, and luck. Very good. I feel like I could use that. You know what? I feel like I could still use it. So, instead, what I'm going to do is... We'll take this. Okay, we're gonna trade up. I will take the Zanbato. And I will equip the Sagaris. And then use the Zanbato on this guy. And then I'll shove you in the trees. There we go. Okay, you know what? You shove. There we go. Will okay. There will no. Uh, there won't be any doubling, so that's fine. As long as we can hold the fort, it should be okay. Ah, oh, bandit can't ca the bandit can't catch the gazelle. Okay, that hurts a little bit, but I don't think. Uh, yeah, I don't think Surya's in a position to be attacked, so it's fine. Oh damn. Okay, good sh good stuff. Weapon rank increase to A. We are actually doing really well. Yeah, we are doing really well. I wonder if this chapter was intended to be a breather, because it definitely feels a lot easier than anything I've encountered so far. I honestly wouldn't be surprised if this was the easiest chapter I've been uh I've encountered so far. It really wouldn't surprise me. Unless, of course, you know, somebody does this really, really... Unless somebody thinks about a really, really difficult ambush. Oh my god, if ambush spawn... If there are any, like, ambushes here or just really bad enemy spawns, I'm probably gonna just kick myself in the teeth. I hope not. I hope not. I want the breather. Like, I genuinely want the breather. Okay. Chief! A gazelle has successfully escaped into our territory. Okay, 500. Okay, 1,000. Is he truly so dense to fight over gazelles? We will lose all of our game at this rate. If this does not end soon, I will end it myself. Well, no, I don't I don't I, I I don't plan to let you end this. Shit. Crap. Leo and Chief Yoga are skirmishing. This does not bode well. We will board up. Why, you ask? Well, let me tell you something. Chief Yoga is a man with nothing to lose. His wife died to illness and his daughter was kidnapped by bandits. From what I hear, he has become a cru bitter and cruel man. But honestly, can you blame him? Without his family to carry on his name, 
He only has the pride of his tribe. I feel bad for him. I hope your fight ends soon. Well, we get the Killing Edge, so I'm hoping it ends soon. Yo, Underdog is such a godsend. Like, Underdog- yeah, Underdog is such a godsend. Okay, Anissa will- is pretty much experiencing the hard falloff now. Okay, so we've taken care of the village. We've taken care of the village portion of this. What? How do you miss an 87? How exactly do you miss an 87? Okay, don't tell me you're gonna miss a 94. Okay, good. I would I, I literally would just not respond for five minutes for five straight minutes. If if that somehow missed, I, I probably would not respond at all. For just Ugh Why? Okay, as much as I would want to provide healing, um I think I'll I'll try to save as much of the heal staff as I can. But instead, uh, Mulan will take care of the second unit. That's expected. Oh, you're gonna go for Hint Lawan. Lamau. Dude, that Sky Piercer isn't really gonna do anything. Although that's gonna do something. Ah, no! Takes care of that. All right. So it's come to this, Chief Waluyo. I will teach you to fear the Kalijaga. Men, we charge. Show them our might. We will not be denied our way of life. Okay, so they're about to charge. Uh, which basically means let the green units uh, let the green units eat each other. But also at the same time keep a good distance. So underdog, you're gonna fly over there. The rest of you guys have done your job, so I think you'll be okay. Yeah, the rest of you got the rest of you have done your jobs. It's fine. You're all good.
Honestly, I think Waluyo with Sagaris can do it, but you know, you never know what happens. You know what? Let, let, why not? Why not take a bit of a risk here? I'll just equip Sagaris and then just quick off out there. What? Those poor old gazelles are in danger? What can I do? Do you need anything? Gazelles are really pretty and majestic, you know? They can stand on their hind legs to reach trees. That's how they find yummy fruits and leaves. I wish I could be that tall. My dad isn't a good cook. He doesn't even make his curry all that spicy. Anyway, take this. Please save them. Hey, we got a secret book. I see. Alright, I keep forgetting that Ketut has the ability to heal herself when he heals someone, so I kind of don't need it. But then again, I could move Ketut forward just for the support bonuses. Alright, let's see what happens. Chief himself. I admire your courage. Your father would have also faced me here. Chief Yogya, I do not wish to fight you here. There is no need for your misguided machismo. I ask you to yield. End this senseless bloodshed. Why? So I can wait at home to be conquered by you? I will not allow the Kalijaga to wither on the vine. Conquer? I have no such ambition. While I wish for us all to come together as one, I yearn to do so through peace. To strengthen Kuching. Hmm. Your fear-mongering will not win me to your side, and your grievances with me will not deter me. Stand aside, Chief, or I will mow you down. Chief Yogya, I will not back down. So be it. Draw your axe. Come and face me. Dude, you guys can't... You guys couldn't hit the broadside of a barn. Okay, so we're doing very good. We're doing very well so far. Ow. Although Kusuma is still really, really frail, and that concerns me. Okay, I could end it now, but then again, I would miss out on 500 precious gold. Calculated risk. It still had 78%, and he's got a Zanbato. I should be very concerned now. Did I beat the boss now? Lose out on 500 gold, but at least I beat the boss? 
Or should I let that gazelle escape? Ooh, decisions, decisions. Wow. I... I have no words. I have no words for that. 80% might as well just be 50%. I don't know anymore. I don't know anymore. rescue Ketut. I am a bit iffy about that, but whatever. It's cool. So they're gonna go for... Oh! Arcuda. Okay... Ow! Ow! Yep, I think Stina might be in trouble. Yep. Dodge it? Oh my god, you dodged it. What the fuck? Wow, what the fuck? He just dodged it. She, do she dodged it. I don't know how, but she dodged it. I am Chief Yogya of the Kali Jaga. I hold no qualms against my fellow man and will not hesitate to cut you down. Whew. Okay, that was close. That was close. Alright. Okay, great. So that pretty much leaves Yogya. And all of the gazelle have already escaped, so yeah, we are we are golden. are actually golden.
Okay, HP, speed, and rest. Okay, so this is for the well, this is for support bonuses, but let's see. Oh. Okay. Okusuma can take one hit, and then I think we'll have the we'll have Waluyo finish off Yogia. Yeah. I will not die yet. My people still need me. All right, men, retreat. We will not win here. With me. Uh, you have no more men. Like you literally lost all your men. Okay, HP, strength, and skill. Chief Yogya, there is no need for us to fight. You would truly go to war over scraps of lean meat? Chief Waluyo, I admire your courage and noble nature. You certainly would bring pride to your father. I don't think you understand the situation of my people. What is happening in your territory? Kalijaga warriors are both true and brave. Its people hearty and resilient. Is something amiss? I don't need to explain myself to your chief, Waluyo. The Rajawali will help you. We will give you what you need. Let us forge an alliance, a friendship. For one who wishes to unshackle our people and break tradition, is territory then not equal for all those of Kuching? Chief Yogya, that's... Heed me, Chief Waluyo. Your honeyed words will not cajole me into compliance. My people must take their own path to endure. The way of the Kalijaga. I don't understand. I wouldn't expect you to. Why don't you ask Kindrawan what happens when you accept help from the chief of the Rajawan? She'll be able to tell you. Farewell, Chief Waluyo. Chief Yogya! I don't understand. Why is he so stubborn? Chief Yogya is a prideful man. It would be a loss of face to accept assistance, especially from a rival chief who is his junior. He is a traditional man, incredibly stubborn and full of pride. I'm surprised his neck can hold up his head. Ease him, Drawan. While I know our battle has been heated, I cannot help but feel pity. You are a kind man, Chief Walio, but do not let your mercy cloud your judgment. While I wish for all our Kachingi brethren to thrive, those who are stuck in the old ways are doomed to wither. He mentioned you by name, Hindrawan. Why don't you ask Hindrawan what happens when you accept help from the chief of, our, of the Rajawali? She'll be able to tell you. When our tribes formed an alliance under our grandfathers, my tribe was absorbed and integrated into ours. Perhaps Chief Yogya fears his people's history will be lost. Cool. Together we can create a shared ancestry. A unified Kaching will bring us strength to stand tall. The older chiefs care not for the world beyond their borders. They are fixated on the rivalries of yore, of a bygone time. The squabbles among the Kachingi chiefs only gives outsiders an opening. We do not know when the next threat will strike. Yes, I only hope that one day we will find the strength to put our differences aside and move forward together. I only hope that one day we can be a united Kuching. One country, one people. Standing tall, strong, and crowned among all nations of Yaska. I have seen the people of Mosti. I see how they live. Our people will remain, will remain poor if we choose to divide ourselves. This is why we stand by you, Chief Waluyo. We never know when war may strike our fractured lands. If we are not prepared, there will be no chiefs. We will forfeit all that we hold dear. You have a noble heart. The heart of a great chief. I ask you this, Chief Waluyo. The trials you may face ahead as leader of the Raja Wali will be tough. You will continue to be faced with threats and challenges. I ask you this. Will you hold true to your values when it's needed most? Are you willing to make sacrifices to achieve your aims? Are you prepared to do what it takes to turn your words into action? Yes, for our people, I will do whatever it takes. Very well, I will continue to stand by you. Until the bitter end, my chief. Yes, Chief Walio, we are with you. Indrawan, Kuda, I'd be at a loss without your counsel. With you both at my side and all of our people at our backs, we will work to settle the differences between our people and bring together one Kuching. That's quite a story, Chief. What happened to Chief Yogya? He's dead now. Oh. I heard that he fell in battle. Similarly, he was hunting in another in another chief's territory. That's... Yes, it is quite sad. His people are now leaderless and there is strife in his tribe. While it has been less than a year since his passing, the power struggle has already begun. I only wish I could have helped him. 
Helping those that cut you down if given the chance? Well, my brother would call you an idiot. However, I think it shows character. Hmm? How do you mean? Two years ago, when I was just 21, I dedicated myself to jazz. I was ridiculed. I was mocked. Not only for the music I played, but for the company I kept. It would have been easy to hold him in contempt, shake my fist at him and all that. But I stood above it. I didn't want to be treated like that, so I didn't treat others in that way. My point is, Chief, you always treat others well. Like a model for how you want to be treated, too. It takes courage and strength to do that, I'd say. And so years later, you left? Yes. The only way I could find comfort was with this. Smoking tobacco, drinking alcohol, they are my releases. To unwind and unleash all my damn stresses. Michael, please remember, when you are tired and stressed, you have friends now. We support you. Instead of turning to the bottle, you can turn to your friends. I have seen too many men throw their lives away. Chief. I apologize, Michael. I don't mean to nag you about your habits. No, you're right. Chief, you've inspired me. From now on, I'm going to try to be better. While I enjoy sharing these vices with my dear companions, I know that it is not the best. I'll try to cut back on the booze and the tobacco, and remind myself I'm not alone. Learn to lean on my friends. And maybe one day, lean on my family again, too. If not those who birth you, then you can lean on us. We are your family now, Michael. You and I are brothers. Remember that, always. Chief, I... Do not worry, Michael. Try to rest easy. Go get some sleep. We have a long day tomorrow. Hmm, alright. Thanks, Chief. Well. That concludes what possibly was the easiest chapter I've ever ha uh, I've had in a long, long time. I Probably the easiest chapter since chapter one. One, one. That's great. Great chapter. Good stuff.